Hey guys, it's Z here. Um, this is my house that I built after The Sims 4 Backyard came out. Um, I did something I think is pretty cool in the back and I'm sad that I missed actually showing you build it. I did, was building it and I was like, oh, I'm not probably going to post this or anything. But then I was like, I'm really digging this build and I wanted to show you guys and so I started recording it. And yeah, so I'm going to go back and do a little tutorial um, about how I did the hodgepodge window wall in the back. Um, many of you know that placing more than one window on a wall will make other windows not be see-through anymore. <laughs> so uh, I'll go in and I'll show you how I did that. Plus, you're going to need some little extra instructions. Um, when you download this house, um, there'll be the, uh, the um, columns that I have on the window wall will disappear, but you need those. Um, so, see this window wall? I just love it. Okay, so I was watching Tiny House Builders because I really love Tiny House Hunters and I decided to watch Tiny House Builder. But, um, yeah, and I was playing Tiny House, or I was playing, I was watching Tiny House Builders and in the very first episode, they built this house where it has a wall that's just like these windows that they place together, sort of like what I did there. And um, what I did was I built the wall I placed the window so that they would fit on the wall and then uh, using move objects on and then I deleted the wall and I'll go and I'll do a tutorial to show you it will have outdoor lighting though it will still be considered a room so um, it, it, it'll still be considered a room but it'll have outdoor lighting because it thinks the rooms outside but seeing as we don't have seasons in The Sims 4 yet, uh, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, it's sort of supposed to be a hippie style sort of bohemian house. It was inspired by that one build by um, Hattie Sims and um, that's one of the reasons I wasn't going to post it was I was thinking, oh it's too much like Hattie Sims build and people aren't gonna like it and I don't really want to be say that people to say I'm copying her um, but I really just wanted to build a bohemian house like that and do it in my own way and add my own things and I think I've given it enough of my own style that it's not copying um, I hope that you guys see it that way too I mean I really love her builds and I only mean her the most respect and um, I also didn't decorate it as much because I wanted to have my sims paint their own paintings to put up on the walls um, yeah so this house I built for um, three people and it has the what probably would have been the sunroom living room converted into a bedroom and I wanted it to be like that I wanted it to look sort of like oh we just threw this together because this is what we needed at the time and we didn't have money to extend the house and so the um it's a mother and a daughter a young daughter staying in the living room converted into bedroom and um the uh, kitchen doesn't really have much other than kitchen stuff in it because they're going to be doing, they're going to be staying in the, uh, they're going to be staying, they're going to be spending most of their time out in the yard because backyard stuff. Um, there's a few activities and stuff for people to do. I <laughs> I love these bushes. It's kind of how I felt the overgrown rose bush in um, in a romantic garden should have been, because that rose bush, uh, 
is kind of weird shaped and it doesn't really have the best texture. <laughs> I I love Romantic Garden, but that rose bush was not the best. Um, here I'm experimenting. I, I, I don't keep that giant flower bush there. I replace it with the, the tree from Movie Hangout stuff. I use a lot of of the movie hangout stuff. I just wanted this place to look really fun and flowery and yeah. But I also tried to use as much of the backyard stuff as I could and that stuff really fits with the movie hangout stuff. Um, here I'm going in and cleaning up the half sprayed stones and stuff like that um, to make it look more like it was a little bit more built in stuff. Um, doing a little terrain painting. I'm not that great at terrain painting. I'm sure you'll be able to tell. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not that great at landscaping in general. I'm working on it. I just like to throw tons of flowers around. That's basically all I do. Um, yeah, here we're coming into the screenshots. I finished building it after I after it cut out there. I fixed some things and it's up on the gallery as you see it in the screenshots. Um, there's like a garden and I believe I uploaded it after the garden, um, after I had her plant the garden, but I'm not sure. There's a screenshot of the window wall from the inside and this is the last one. Or no, wait, no, there's a few more. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I hope you like my build to if you want to download it you can go to um, my page on origin under pumpkin panic uh, I'll be hashtag Z Gray Sims and everybody have a great day